Hamoja Tuta Hashem, their brothers and sisters, together we will win. The Nation Time News Network would like to expand your mind about a new book that Paul Siegel of the New York Times reports on that speaks plainly about the large role white women played in perpetuating slavery. The book, They Were Her Property, written by Stephanie E. Jones Rogers, who teaches at the University of California, Berkeley, examines how the full role of white women in slavery has long been one of the slave trade's best kept secrets. Jones Rogers puts the matter plainly. White slave owning women were ubiquitous. Not only did they profit from and passionately defend slavery, but the institution was their freedom. They Were Her Property draws on the customary sources, letters, and other documents from slave-owning families and the like, but radically centers the testimonies of formerly enslaved people in interviews conducted by the Federal Writers Project. From these stories, Jones Rogers brings an unseen world to life of white women's instruction and domination, a process of grooming that began in infancy. In horrifying, meticulous detail, this book illustrates the centrality of violence to capitalism. Jones Rogers reveals how the violence of slave-owning white women especially go unchecked, particularly when the victims were black children. She gives the example of Henrietta King as an eight or nine-year-old. King was accused of stealing candy. Her white mistress wedged King's head under a rocking chair for about an hour. She rocked back and forth on King's head while her young white daughter whipped her. King's face was mutilated. For the rest of her life, she was unable to eat solid food. Jones Rogers is a crisp writer. She trains her gaze on the history. It is impossible to read this book and not see the abuse of black mothers and babies during slavery without thinking of black mortality rates today. Expand your mind and get the book, They Were Her Property, by Stephanie E. Jones Rogers at the Shrines of the Black Madonna Bookstore and Cultural Center in Atlanta or at your local black bookstore. Thank you.